Hello everyone, welcome to Automators Industrial Projects. I am Santosh and in this video I will explain you about status word in Siemens S7. So it's a CPU internal register used to keep the track of the state of the instructions as they are being processed. And uh, using this video I want to uh, tell you that how more effectively uh, it is important to understand the status word and, and their functions. So um, and out of the status word only 9 bits are used that is FC, RLO, STA, OR, OS, OV, CC1, CC0 and the last is BR bit. Okay, so the first bit is the first check bit and this is set to 0 when the instruction is considered to be the first instruction being processed and it is set to 1 when, when the instruction is being scanned uh, with the logic from the previous instruction and normally when the instructions are set and reset the FC bit is set to 0 and when it is instructions like AND and OR the FC bit is set to 1. So we check it in the example here we just convert it to STL that we could see the status here, here. you see now the FC bit um, is set to 1 because this is the AND instruction and this is the instruction followed with the last or previous instruction if I make it to set then you see the FC check bit is set to 0 so moving to next instruction that is RLO it stores the running logic state of the currently processing instruction uh, in the clear way um, RLO is the output of the STA that means when the STA is 1 and the signal is flowing from this point to this point then the RLO is set to 1 you see AI 1.0 is set to 1 that is the status is 1 then the RLO is also 1 so this is an output of the status you see for I 1.1 the RLO is 1 but here the status is 0 that's why the bit is 0 and the signal is not flowing that's why the RLO is 0 but in this case if the status is 0 but if we have a NC contact here then the RLO is flowing uh, then the signal is flowing then the RLO is 1 so we check here with an example again so we consider the same example you see when I make the status to 1 you see the RLO is 1 We make it again a ladder. You see, I make here status to zero, the RLO is zero. But in case if I use this bit as an NC, though the status is zero, but the RLO is one because the signal is flowing. So it depends upon the signal flow that is the output of the of the status bit which is here so if I make it to 0 you see the RLO if I make it to 1 the RLO is 0 so moving to next is STA STA it reflects the um, uh, state of the current boolean address if STA is 1 then the then the, S, um, the the bit is one, the boolean address is one. Then the STA is one, and depending upon this, the RLO reacts. For example, as I said, you I one point zero is one, the status one, and the RLO is one. And here, I one point one is one, then the RLO is one. And this output of uh, the result of logic operation, we get it by making the AND combination with the last RLO and the current status. I think here you can see it's marked clearly I 1.0's RLO is mapped with the status of I 1.1 then the RLO is 1 if, if we have the I 1.0 status here 0 then the RLO is 0 then the AND operation here the output is also 0 I think we, we also check it here with the example just make this You see now, uh, if I make this state as zero, 
the combination of this RLO and this status that is 0 and 1 is 0, 0, 1, 0. But if I make it true, 1, 1, 1, then the signal flows to the next. Hope this is clear. If you have any still questions, you can write it down in the comment box. Um, moving to next is OR bit. Uh, this is used for combining AND functions before OR functions and overflow stored bit and overflow bit. This bit gets set when we have a occurrence of fault due to the illegal operations and comparison which are unordered. And using these bits, we can make uh, further instructions or uh, conditions that like jump conditions and etc. I can also check here with an example. You see here um, we just make a normal calculation first. The OV bits are 0 because they are in range but when we make a calculation beyond the limits uh, for example you see the, the bits get uh, set to 1 because of the, uh, the illegal operation or the calculation beyond the limit and this is how we use and the last uh, bits are CC0, CC1 and these are the condition code bits which provides the result for compari comparison and match instruction. These bits get 1 according to the accumulator operations when the accumulator is greater than accumulator 1, uh, the CC1 bit is set to 1. You can see here the, ac mm, the accumulator 2 is greater than 1 that's why the bit is 1 and this CC0, CC1 we can use also in our programming for making some decisions and the last bit is the BR bit and it transfers the results of operation that means uh, um, it is used to pass th on the function result to the other functions to be processed subsequently and when the BR bit is 1 it enables the output E and O to be true and thus allow other blocks after it to be processed. Hope this video is clear and if you have any queries please write it down in the comment box and especially you can also check these boxes here for uh, understanding the CC0 or CC1 conditions when they get set. Um, any questions please write it down in the comment box and I am coming with the next video where I will explain you about uh, this um, BR bit in detail and uh, thank you, thank you for watching this video.